In November 1939 the Swedish Air Force ordered a prototype for a new bomber from Saab, the Saab P-8. The first test flight of the P-8 took place June 19, 1942. July 31 the same year, 62 planes were ordered. The first batch of Saab B-18As were delivered to Air Wing F-1 between March 1944 and December 1945. The B-18As replaced the B-3 Junkers Ju-86, which no longer was considered a suitable bomber. In 1946 all B-18As were replaced by the newer B-18B model, and remaining B-18As were used as reconnaissance aircraft. In 1941, the Swedish Air Force expressed interest in obtaining a new torpedo aircraft. The Saab 18 was suggested. While testing the new torpedo aircraft, designated T-18B, it was discovered that the aircraft was too fast for dropping torpedoes. Instead of torpedoes, the T-18B was equipped with two 20mm cannons, and one 57mm cannon could be mounted under the belly. The T-18B was also used for testing the Air Bay 302 anti-ship missile. Plans were also made for a more heavily armed night fighter version, but the plans were never realized. The Saab 18 served in the Swedish Air Force between 1944 and 1955. 245 aircraft were produced in total. Today only one Saab 18 is preserved. It is a B-18B that is displayed at the Swedish Air Force Museum in Linköping. The aircraft, Red David, was part of a group of eight B-18Bs that had to make emergency landings to avoid a storm in 1946. Red David landed on a frozen lake and fell through the ice. The crew survived. Another aircraft in the group, Red Nicholas, disappeared along with the crew. The crash site was likely found in 2017. The swamp where the aircraft was found, is now considered a grave site. <laughs>